Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for DNNHero.com. In this week's video, I'll be talking about the news of last week, the user group meetings that will happen during this week, and the videos that I'll be posting during this week as well. So, in terms of news of last week, what I have seen is a very interesting discussion about whether or not .dot.dot two should create uh, a stack exchange. And that discussion uh, was started since that has been started during the day of Chicago. And I saw an interesting post from Will Morgan Weck from Active Modules. And after that, there's a, a couple of people, a couple of vocal people coming along and, and expressing their ideas, expressing their opinions. Uh, so I'll be posting the link to that discussion below. And you are more than welcome to have a look and take your own conclusions. Now, in terms of the uh, user group meetings of this week, actually before I go to the user group meetings, I uh, just want to mention that I saw as well uh, an interesting initiative from Eric from Apollo Software. He is actually has actually created something called the Dot That Look Daily. And what that seems to be is basically a compilation of different posts from different .NET Nook related people, related users. So uh, this initiative, it actually brings those different posts in a, in a newspaper type of format. So the link will be below and you should check this out. From my point of view, it seems interesting to see the, the what's going on in the community in a more organized way instead of just tweets. So, and the last news of the week is actually a, a, a congratulations type of news to Chris Hammond. He just had a baby girl last week and her name is Jacqueline Hammond. So, Chris, um, congratulations to you and your family. Now, the user group meetings of this week, actually, I just saw one user group meeting and it's been in Boston in a week's time frame in, in, in October 18th. So link is below as well in terms of the, the of the videos of the videos of this week uh video 149 i'll be talking about apollo page localization module it's a very good module to be able to localize the page title the page name the page keywords in different languages as well that's video 149 video 150 i'll be talking about something very simple but sometimes people get confused with that uh, those are, and this is about the three different modes that you can see your backhand in .NET Look, the ones at the top left corner. Video 151, it's about moving pages around, how you can move pages around your .NET Look site, how you can make, how you can move them from one page to another one, to submenus, to promote them, to demote them, to change levels. So that's pay, that's video 151. Video 152, I'll be talking about how you can add event tracking, Google Analytics event tracking to your .NET Look website. So this is not just Google Analytics. This is one, I'll call it an advanced feature of Google Analytics, which is the capability of tracking events in your site and specifically in our, in your .NET Look website. Now, video 153. I'll be talking about a new hosting provider focused on .NET Nook called Premium DNN, and they have an interesting plan called uh, Developer Formula. So I'll be talking a little bit about that and what I found in, in my views on that as well. So basically, those were the news. Those were the tutorials of the, this week. Now, if you want to follow me on Twitter on Facebook, please feel free to do so. You will be getting updates as to when I'm posting them live. That's it for now. Thank you very much and see you next week. Ciao.